this tutorial, we're going to set up a Commvault media agent slash file server. It's on the same box. It's a Windows server. We're going to set up the Windows media agent and file server on the same box. So let's get started. You're on the Com cell, Commvault Com cell. Um, you see the Commvault browser there. Okay, let's click on. Uh, we're going to click on Tools at the top here, and since we're installing software, we're going to do Add Soft, Add Remove Software. We're going to click on Install Software. This is the installation wizard we're going to be installing. It's a little different uh, than you probably saw in version 10, where we you double clicked on a package of software and it went with it. Uh, we're going to click on Next. So our target media agent is going to be, in this video, it's going to be Windows. Um, so that's the operating system. We're going to click Next. And here you're, you're prompted to enter the host name of the computers. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to import a file. We're going to just, I'm going to show you this real quick. Import from file, meaning you have, let's say you have 100 media agents, clients, whatever, and you want to install this on all those. Well, instead of typing a menu manually, uh, you can just click on Import File, and you can import those um, those files as long as they're in a, a a text file of some sort. So I've went ahead and I've created a file, a text file called Servers, and you see that these are listed here. So the thing is, after one um, on the first line, the second line, and you know, say like this is old, so you can just you can remove it if you desire. But what we're going to do is actually import from Active Directory. We're going to choose our domain name. And we're going to click OK. Since I'm already logged in as a domain admin uh, on the domain, it's going to propagate a lot of this stuff ready. And what it does is it takes the information, whatever information you put in the computers of your domain, it's going to highlight those. It's going to say, okay, I see all these computers in your domain controller. I'm going to choose, you, you know, I'm going to give you a list of them. You can choose which one you want. So we're going to choose the uh, Win Server CME, CMVLTMA1. I'm going to click, uh, click that. And I'm going to click Add. And we're going to click where we actually remove these other ones here because we don't need those. And we're going to click next. We are going to need to specify um, domain account for this actually. You would only would skip this if you had um, you already had a a client that you already installed. You're just adding more software to it. Okay, put our domain credentials in. We're going to click next. Here's where we get to choose what we're installing. Um, like I said earlier, this is going to be a media agent and a file server agent. So we're going to click media agent. We're going to click file system core and file system. You'll notice that if you highlight over them, it'll tell you a little bit about what it is. Common software providing basic core functions. File system is providing back and recovery for a file system. And of course, media agent is administering the data protection um, between client programs and storage resources. And feel free to just like click on these a little bit and just like look at every single one as you go, you know, as you click on them. We're going to push next here. Okay, we're prompted to um, put the client in a client group. So actually, it's Windows. So we're just going to throw it in the client group. If it was, say, a media agent only and did nothing else, we would just create a, a client group called media agent or whatever and throw it in there. Click on it and add. And push next. We're prompted to 
put in a couple of information. So we want to either disable Windows Firewall, reboot if required, restart. Um, I don't think it's needed to do this in this case. Um, and if we have to, we'll just disable Firewall afterwards if we have any errors or whatever. Or open up a port, if you will. So we're just going to click Next through this, like the default how it wants. Click Next. So this is one of those settings that I actually do want to check and I want to install it to a different location actually. So I'm going to go into the media agent and I'm going to actually create a D drive so we can install into the D drive. So I'm on the ES6i host, I'm going to right click on a media agent, I'm going to go to edit settings. This works the same, much, same way pretty much as um, the other type of uh, uh, services, so like VirtualBox and and uh, VMware Player, they work pretty much the same way. VM Workstation. So I'm just going to add a hard disk. Give him say I'm going to thin provision, right? Let me give him say 100 gig, whatever it is, right? No worries for that. Save it. Log into my media agent and just add it as a D drive. So I'm at the media agent now, the server. I'm going to click on uh, tool. After the server manager comes up, you click on tools. I'm going to click on tools, then computer management, then device manager. Actually, no, uh, then disk management. So I have this um, 100 gig that's unallocated. I'm going to right click on it, properties. You know what? Actually, I think I need to put this disk online because you see it here it says uh, known disk offline the disk is offline because policy set by the admin I'm gonna google how to put this online before uh, just wait a second so I just typed in how to put your additional disks online VMware you click on add new virtual disks to virtual machine yeah I'm not sure that's the right one I'm just gonna search again oh this is a better one Vir VMware virtual disk not showing up here we go Virtual hard disk not showing with the virtual machine. Let's click that. Okay, here seems to be my solution. I need to put disk, I need to do disk part. So I'm going to go to my server, my com media agent slash file agent. I'm going to just type uh, CMD here. Type disk part. Let's see, disk part. Yes. List disks. Singular text actually. Okay. So it's offline. Okay, I need to put it online. It doesn't seem like that's working either. Uh, not giving me the right command. So I'm gonna Google the uh, commands. Disk part commands to add VMware disk. Here we go. To add new disk to running VM. So I need to do online select disk. Let me do that real quick. So you do select disk one, I think. Okay. And I need the online disk. So now hopefully I can just close this out here and just right click on it. Right click here, here, refresh or rescan. Or actually re do a right click and rescan disks. Perhaps there's something else I need to look at. So I'm going to do a list disk. And I see it's online. Looks like I need to do attributes disk clear read only. So attributes disk clean read only. Okay, wrong command. Oh, disk clear read only. Clear. Awesome. So uh, successfully cleared. Let's see if it's online now. Right click and we're going to rescan disks. Turns out it's a layer one issue, so I'm just going to right click on the disk here and initialize disk. Yeah, master, master grub. Okay. A new simple volume. Yeah. Okay, it's going to use everything. We're going to do a D drive is not, looks like D drive is not. Okay, so we're going to use. Where is the E drive then? And do not 
one minute. Don't need it one minute. We're good. And finish. So we're going to mark it. Well, we're actually going to see if it shows up in the C drive. Okay. And does it show up here? Can we add stuff to it? Okay, I guess I do have to format it. Okay. Close. Cool. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, so we can go back to our comm serve and we can proceed with the installation. So we're going to put this in the E drive. E colon there. And uh, click next. So this is the reason we're doing this is your C drive fills up. You know that. Uh, as a Windows administrator, your C drive is just going to fill up. So we're just going to install this in the, in the E drive. And if it fills up, you can just add more space to it. It's much easier to do it that way, especially if it's a physical box. Because sometimes your, your page sys file moves around. Um, so it's just easier if you just add uh, install Commvault. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's learn backup and restore with Commvault, get a high paying job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.